what is really going on. If you want answers, take the shot. When you're inside the room, act as you always act. Order the mineral water, drink it. Don't make them suspicious. The shot we gave you should protect you. Should protect me? What do you mean, what if it doesn't? Listen to me carefully. Whatever happens in that room, show no reaction, no emotion, no surprise. No matter what you see, do not move. What will I see? Who sent you? A friend. I don't have any friends. When will I see you again? Soon. I promise. There are several points of interest here. First of all, the fact that by an impressive margin, new home purchases took most of the brunt of that decline. <clears throat> By this, I mean that sales of older homes are done on an individual basis, but there's considerably more room for negotiation. Therefore, in those sales, we are more likely to find that the official rise in mortgage rates has been and offset somewhat by the respective rates of return on high-tech investments, which led to a surge in business capital spending and significantly increased the underlying growth rate of productivity. The capitalization of these higher than expected returns boosted equity prices, generally beyond even that expected by the enhanced rise in real incomes. The elevated level of light vehicle sales, for example, has put more vehicles on the road than the industry could sustain. And even though demand for a number of high-tech products was doubling or tripling annually, in many cases, new supply was coming on even faster. Overall, capacity in high-tech manufacturing industries rose nearly 50% last year, well in excess of its rapid rate of increase. Accordingly, the slowdown in the economy that began in the middle of last year intensified, perhaps even to the point of growth stalling out around the turn of the year. As the economy slowed, equity prices fell, especially in the high-tech sector, where previous high valuations were being re-evaluated resulting in significant losses in some investors. Clearly, some slowing in the pace of spending was necessary if the economy was to progress a more balanced and sustainable growth. With the process likely intensified by the rise in the cost of energy that has strained business and household purchasing power, purchases of durable goods and investment in capital equipment declined more than more because the slowdown was not anticipated by businesses. It induced some backup in inventories despite the more advanced technologies to adjust production levels more rapidly. Inventory sales ratios rose only moderately. And even after the policy actions taken in January, the risks continue skewed toward the economies remaining on a path inconsistent with satisfactory economic performance. Crucial to the assessment of the outlook and the understanding of recent policy options is the role of the technological change in productivity in shaping near-term cyclical forces and long-term sustainable growth, perceptible for sustaining small advances in productivity. And moreover, while increasing short-term business profits have softened considerably, most corporate managers appear not to have altered their appreciable extent to any of the long-standing optimism about the future returns. A recent survey of purchasing managers Just a reflex. suggests that the wave of new online business-to-business -business activities is far from cresting. Corporate managers appear to remain remarkably sanguine about the potential for innovation.
you are, you are, you are not are not married. married. Your wife is Diane Thursby. Your Santa wife is, is Diane Thursby. <laughs> policy. In conclusion, a cautious approach is always the best strategy. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> 